what men want but won't tell you. This is a very important video because sometimes you want to understand a guy. You will ask a lot of questions and he won't be able to respond to you. He won't be able to tell you exactly what is he looking for. If you're watching this video, I want you to smash the like button and subscribe. Just come and join this community. You will be able to ask me your question. I'm doing lives every Friday and I want to make sure that you will be happy in your love life. I understand that you try to do your best. You try to really please a guy without being too needy and too available, which is the right behavior. And so you're wondering what men want, but they won't really tell you. And this is based on my philosophy as a relationship expert. I'm not doing videos because I want to entertain you. I'm not doing videos because I want you to be happy. I'm just doing videos because I want to teach you what is going on in this life, what you should do right now to get results. So I'm not telling you what I want to tell you. I will just tell you what's working for my clients, for the people that I coach, and what neuroscience is telling us about love, relationship, and our behavior. So the first thing first that I want to do is a disclaimer. Why? Because every time I would do a video, sometimes you can tell me, Alex, I feel you're doing this video and you're asking me to change, which is not my intention. I will never, never ask you to change in order to please him. I would never tell you that you need to change your behavior to make him happy and confident. That's not my intention. But my goal is for you to be one step ahead, to understand him better, to know what are his intentions, to be able to read his mind and also to be able to decide and to create the relationship you want. So it's very important for me that we stay focused on this. So it's a disclaimer because I don't want you to feel that you're not good enough. I don't want you to feel that you're not enough for him or that you will have to be someone else in order for you to get results and his attention. It's not the case. And it should be a good news for you because usually the education that we receive, especially you ladies, when it comes to love, everyone is telling you what you should do for him. Everyone will tell you that you need to forget about yourself in order to please this guy. And this behavior will only create toxic environment. Yesterday, I was just going to my yoga class and a woman came to me and said, Alex, I recognized you. I recognize you because I'm following your videos. And we chat for a little while. And when she was describing her situation, it really touches me. Why? Because she experienced someone that love bombarded her. Meaning that this guy would come and say, please come and live with me. I love you. You're the one. And there is a moment where a few weeks later, this guy is like, uh, I'm okay. I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. When you're experiencing this tough time where you're experiencing this dramatic situation, I want you to know that there is some solutions and with my videos, you should be able to protect yourself a little bit more. So there is a couple of things that men are looking for, but they won't tell you. Number one, and this is what I told in every of my videos. We are in a society where we really want to be happy. We really want to enjoy every single moment. So when I talk to men, when I look at neuroscience studies, when I look at my experience as a coach, I feel that men are looking for a woman where they can really enjoy their life. And the word that I will use is vibrate. Men want to vibrate with you. They want to feel the butterflies in their stomach. They want to feel the real vibrations of love. And this is the best way for you to make him crazy about you. It is not to please him. It is not to cook for him. It is to create new things. If he can experience new things with you, I can guarantee you that you would be able to make him fall in love for you. Of course, the idea that you would be smiling, having positive energy, men are visual. So if you take care of the, your image, you will have a way to make him feel vibrate when he's close to you, to make him feel wants to be with you, talk to you and give you more. That would be step or 
the number one tip in order for you to understand what men want. Number two, and this one is difficult for you ladies. It's also difficult for me as a relationship expert and as a man because sometimes I don't understand. But men seem to be obsessed, obsessed with the idea that they want to chase you. It's kind of like today in modern love, men wants to put you on a pedestal. This is what they are looking for. They are not looking for a woman that will be stable. They are not looking for a woman that will be nice. They are looking for a woman that will kind of push them a little bit away. So they have to fight more and more and more and more for your attention. I'm not saying this if you're in a relationship and everything is right and you know you're experiencing a great time. If you're dating and you wonder what's going on in their mind, it's because this guy in front of you, he's really obsessed with the idea to chase you. And if he feels that he doesn't have to chase you, it's weird because he will lose interest at this moment. So this is one thing that you need to understand. They are obsessed with the idea that they want to change, chase you, sorry. Number three, it's weird, but some men, I would say most of the men, we need to be under pressure. We need to know that there is something we need to step up our game. And I will give you a simple experience. I was discussing with my wife. We were talking together and she was telling me something and I said, hey, you're putting pressure on me because she wanted me to improve something. And she said, yes. Because if I don't put pressure on you, you don't do it. And she was right. So I was mad because I could not say anything. So sometimes we need to put pressure. Like when your children are not cleaning their room, you put pressure on them, right? It should be the same thing about men and relationship. You need, they need to feel some pressure. Every time I've coached a woman that was very chill, Oh, I love him as he is. Oh, I want him to be happy. His happiness is everything to me. That's a great idea. But this is also telling a guy, hey, you can do whatever you want. I will always be there. And unfortunately, the sweetest women that I've coached, they are always in a toxic relationship. Always. Maybe it's your case. Maybe you're watching this video and tell me in the comments, please. Hey, Alex, you're right about this. I'm the sweetest woman. Everyone is telling me that I have all the qualities to make any guy really happy. And still, they don't respect me. They cheat on me. They are abusive in their way. They talk to me, etc. Why? Because you came with the intention that you want him to be happy. If you have a little bit of pressure, I'm not saying that you need to be like a military woman. Like, you need to do this. You need to do that. No, but just the idea that, hey, I want you to step up your game. Hey, when I tell you something, it's important to me. Just to show that there is a little bit of pressure will make him change more. Will make him involve, be involved more. So this is one thing that surprised me, but she was right. My wife was right. And that's why I decided that I will bring this example in the video because I want to talk to you about what's very important and what can change everything for you. I know the point. So basically, some men, especially the avoidant, if you're telling me my man is an avoidant, be careful to this advice. Some men, they will say yes to everything. If you ask them, do you want to meet this weekend? Yes. Do you want to go out? Yes. Do you want to do this and do that? Yes. But the problem is they do it because they really love you and they want to be part of this. But most of the men, and I will include myself, we need to refill our reservoir and our energy. If we can refill our energy, we feel great. So when you are facing an avoidant, he will say yes to everything, but there is a moment he will explode. Before he explodes, it is your job, ladies, to sometimes don't ask for initiative, let him initiate, let him create. Or sometimes you just have to say, no, look, this weekend, I want to stay home. I want to relax. I want to spend time with my daughter, with my son, but not with him. Maybe he won't understand. Maybe he will sulk a little bit, but we don't care. Because what's important for us is to stay focused on making sure that 
his intention and his energy will always be steady. If he says yes to everything and then he has to refill his energy, he won't be happy without knowing it. This is very subconscious situation, but it's very important as well. So what men are looking for, but they won't tell a woman, is they really need a strong intimacy. If you're watching this video, I want to tell you that intimacy is now very, very important for men. Maybe it was before, but now it's even more. Intimacy, it's the way you will touch him, the way you will hug him, the way you will kiss him, the way you will call him, the way you will have some private jokes with him, and of course, the way we can innovate in the bedroom. And I want you to know that the more you can be intimate, not just sexual way, the more you can be intimate in your relationship, it will decide if your relationship is strong enough to, you know, to last. If there is no intimacy today, men tend to get bothered. Men tend to think that the grass will be greener on the other side. And so that's not what we are looking for. Okay? So what I want you to remember is that you can be truly yourself when it comes to intimacy. You can be showing your energy. Because I've seen so many women where the education that you received is sex or intimacy is wrong, is bad. It is not. In a relationship, it is just very important to maintain the love. And the last thing I wanted to tell you is that I think that every man, they want to know that their partner in crime, they are with their partner in crime, meaning you're close to them, you're helping them, you are, you know, making sure you're building something together, you're building something together where you can be confident. Why am I saying that? Because I've seen a lot of men, they feel a disconnection with their woman because they don't feel supported enough. And the problem with that is that they don't talk. And I know it's uh, so annoying for you. It's not your fault. Of course it's not. But just so you know now that men will be looking for a woman that will be on their side. They would be looking for their partner in crimes. And I'm pretty sure that if you focus on all of these points in this video, you will be able to avoid a toxic relationship. You will be able to love a man, maybe a little bit differently from usual, but you would be also able to be yourself. Please, ladies, don't change for him. Don't try to please him if you're not feeling 100% happy as well. As a relationship coach, I've coached so many women and men from all over the world. I've created some resources. You will find them in the description box below, especially a video where I will explain to you why men are looking for a challenge, why men are looking for, you know, you being on a pedestal. Because this is what is so difficult from the education that you receive. I want to try to show you more about my philosophy. So if you like this video, first of all, make sure that you smash the like button, you subscribe to this channel. And remember that in the description box below, you will have a couple of links. I'm a real coach, meaning that I will be on your side and I do provide coaching sessions. We can talk to each other. I will be on your side, I will follow you, and we will find some solutions together. The one thing I want you to know is my philosophy is very special. It's very unique. It provides results because it has been proven. I'm not telling you what I want to tell you. I'm telling you what has worked for other women that were exactly in your situation. So I want to see you soon for a new video. Remember to come and join this community. And if you need anything, you have the comments just right below. I'll be there with my team to answer you. I will see you soon, ladies. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.